Hi, my name is Taisha, and I'm a pack rat. Yeah, this is my day off. I just went ahead and rented a U-Haul van. And I'm going to clear out my storage unit. I'm just at a point where I've been living without this stuff for this long. And the majority of it is shit that I have pretty much carried from my house in Virginia to the house that I was in when I was married. Then trucked all that shit to Hawaii. Then brought all that shit here to Washington. And I'm really into this part of kind of like downsizing. I should have downsized a long time ago, but I have such an attachment to my things because I moved so much when I was growing up and then I'm moving so much, you know, as an adult. The longest I've stayed somewhere was when I bought my house in Virginia. Stayed there until I got married and then, you know, married into the military. So that takes you just keep fucking moving, keep fucking moving. And today I'm just done. Now, there's a big difference between hoarders and pack rats, okay? I'm not a hoarder because I'm just a pack rat. I'll collect shit, but I know when to throw it away. I know when to get rid of it. Like, I don't have that much of an attachment to stuff. So, I'm about to go and I'm going to show you the storage unit. I'm getting rid of that so I can take the money I'm paying for the storage unit and invest that shit, you know? Start my business, you know, well, restart my business. Have more money in my pocket and stop paying for shit to sit in a glorified garage my plan is i'm oh my gosh i'm not going to go to this stuff i'm going to probably allow myself to keep one box full of stuff i know that i have some winter suits some some dress suits and stuff in there which is really important to me the rest of this shit needs to go into a dumpster the rest of this shit is going to the goodwill so when i get done with this i'm gonna ride up yonder to the goodwill get all this shit away get gone i've been watching um tidying up with marie kondo i think it's name marie kondo and i have been reading um tidying up the um what is it? KonMari method, okay? And what that is, I'll explain to you later, but my camera is on like 17%. Show you what the storage unit looks like and try to uh, get these progress steps until I get to the house. So yeah, let's go. All right, let me go ahead and get this truck open. And no, this video is not sponsored by you all. No, it is not. All right, this is not my storage unit. This is, that's the wrong one. This is all of this crap that is in this storage unit. So I'm about to just go through here, separate stuff. I got my childhood Nintendo, some books, my son's dog. Yeah, all this stuff is just unnecessary. So it's time to go ahead and get rid of this and throw it away. And next time you see this unit, it's gonna be empty. And the next time you see this van, it's gonna be full. All right, Operation Pack Rat, no freaking more let's get started let's get started let's do this you know that i can do somebody break this is where i'm at right now and this is what the truck is looking like so I'm making good progress by not trying to save and take everything. This is some simple organic truth coconut water. I got it like for, I think we're 88 cent at Fred Meyer, but it's really called Kroger's because it's made or distributed in Cincinnati, Ohio by the Kroger company. Buy some stock in it. I wish my mom and my grandma had bought us stock in Kroger's when we were little. I mean, we're from Cincinnati where we have Kroger, Procter & Gamble. I wish they had a a, you know, set of bonus toys growing up, been kind of business minded and bought a stock. So yeah, make sure you hit that link in my description so that you can begin trading on the stock market for free. And you can also get a free stock when you use my, my link. Okay. So go ahead and start trading on Robinhood and secure your investment future. Okay. But yeah, quick plug. <laughs>
all right so my phone did go out as i was cleaning out the storage unit but my storage unit is cleaned out the u-haul truck is turned back in but i had such an eventful day like on my way back from dropping off the items at the goodwill and on my way to my house so i could drop off some stuff there i witnessed a auto pedestrian accident and oh my gosh yeah, it was just so unexpected. Like, here I am driving this U-Haul truck, going home, and then I look over, and the oncoming traffic, and it stopped, and I see a body, like, crumbled up on the ground. I'm like, oh, my gosh. So, it's like, yeah, that, that first responder in me, you know, slammed the car into park, you know, pulled the key, key out of the ignition, locked the vehicle, looked, you know, to see if it was clear across the street, and I just jetted over. You know, I didn't even think about it. I'm like, Wow. So, um, yeah, I'm about to cry, you know, it's just, uh, it's so unfortunate, but, um, the, the victim there, you know, was, was alive, you know, I found a pulse and other people stopped to help and things like that. So, yeah, um, I, I wasn't able to stay on scene to provide a statement, but I did get the officer's card and, um, I left some, some markers there because one thing that I noticed, um, as more and more people stopped to help, the evidence was not being preserved, like stuff was being moved. So the items I had in my pocket, you know, I left them there to mark like, hey, this is where the bike was, this is where that was, and I have to leave, but I'll be back, or I'll contact you to give my statement. So while everything is still fresh in my mind, I'm gonna head home, um, do that email, call the officer, see what I can do. But my storage unit is clean. Now my second bedroom is full. So now I got to, you know, uh, go through some stuff and downsize and organize. But I feel really good, you know, that I'll be keeping that extra money in my pocket and that I downsized a lot of stuff out of that unit that I really just didn't need. So I will update on the next part of this, you know, tidying up, getting my stuff together journey. <laughs> Thank you.